हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय गेमिंग चैनल न्यू आरपो सो वी आर बैक विथ ए न्यू गेम हाउस ऑफ एशेस दिस हाउस ऑफ एशेस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द डार्क पिक्चर्स एंथ्रो एंथ्रोपोलॉजी आई थिंक या सो दे हैव रिलीज्ड लाइक एंथ्रोलॉजी यस दे हैव रिलीज्ड टू गेम्स बिफोर let me show you a uh, man of median and little hope but i have never played these two games when i came to know about this um, group i came to know about this game house of ashes at the close of the iraq war special forces hunting for weapons of mass destruction unearthed something far deadlier a buried sumerian temple containing a nest of unearthly creatures to survive the night below they must forge a brotherhood with their enemies from the world above okay so yes this company they make horror games and these games are based on choices and mainly on quick events which i which i really suck at I am really bad at doing quick events in time, and also at choices. But still, I do. I am able to do take some choices, but quick events I really suck at. So this can turn horribly bad for me. Just a bit of fair warning before starting the game. I started and played a very little portion to see what it's like, and I have. missed a uh, quite a few choices and i played it played the very small portion again and then i did it right not all but some yeah mostly actually so yeah at the beginning portion i know what to click so the quick events i will be able to do but then i might miss out most of them so forgive me for that and if you hate me for that you better go and watch some other youtubers because uh i i this i am giving you a warning that i really suck at this uh okay so house of ashes let's see play alone don't play alone it's for multiplayer play with your friends not only multiplayer but yes we if i have friends here yeah kind of multiplayer uh i will play alone embark on your own single player story i since i played a little it, the continue option is there i will start with a new story forgiving is very easy forgiving is easy basically challenging is i guess normal survival is expected challenging is your skills will be tested and lethal is death it be is inevitable i will never play lethal challenging i normally play challenging but for this game i want to play forgiving but that will be easy right easy things i rather i still play challenging even if it will be difficult for me yeah so let's get go with challenging uh the much i have played is 4% okay uh, i have played a little very little bit that is 4% okay i will um, override that one or let's do a new slot doesn't matter to play with a controller press a to play with mouse and keyboard controls press mouse click this tutorial will be for your selected control system you can change the control in the settings at any time okay mouse click for they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind Hosea 87 so this is a horror game every choice has a consequence yeah based on choice a horror game based on choice some decision saves life others 
lead to death. Choose wisely. Damn. Akad, two two three one BC. Akad. No, I don't want to die. Silence. Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift the skirts from our land. General Beratu, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Uh, I one second. I want to increase the brightness a bit. Uh, I know it's it is said to keep the brightness over the is one, uh, but I will increase it a bit. Forty six will be okay, right? Uh, what was it? No. How much was it? Thirty seven. 42 48 okay general we should leave this place the king his madness threatens to swallow us all this temple is cursed i'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there we have our orders captain one second, let me check if it's recording. Yeah, it is. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Use left mouse to complete and by your command. Say nothing. Reluctant. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'll be reluctant. Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> Press the matching prompt before the timer runs out.
Use mouse to aim. Press left mouse when the crosshair turns red. You do not have to attack. Nah, I won't kill her. You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Balatu. You've lost your edge. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. A girl? I see only a Gutian demon. <gasps> if you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. Give me strength. Oh, my God. 
What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. We were wrong. My king sacked the temple at Kippur. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death. Balatu seems relieved at the death of his king. So this guy is Balatu and this is Kurum. Balatu and Kurum. Current objective work together to escape. View Balatu's relationship with Kurum. Wait me to the truth. Follow the fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've got it. So we are working together now. They were enemies, but now they are working together. Help me with this. Press mouse repeatedly before timer runs out. Press left mouse in time with heartbeat. Okay. Another once more. Press and hold left mouse to pick up objects, use mouse to examine. Some interaction reveals secrets. Secrets you can find you find can be viewed in the collection and character screen. Just a bug. Use W to move. Use mouse to move camera and light source. Inspect. Premonition unlocked. Premonition. We have only made choice with your heart where possible. In fact, use mouse to look around. There may be hidden information, but I didn't find any hidden information. I looked a lot in this. We are cursed by our own actions. 
Why did your king raid the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. Uh, I have checked this already. Open. Here, help me with this. First, we're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Arrogant, worry about your own hide, respectful, we help each other, obviously respectful. The enemy of my enemy is a... Balatu was willing to cooperate with Kurum. We help each other. There is always hope. Okay. Let's get going. What was that? Over here. I've already seen this, that's why I'm not surprised. Okay. together no if we both run then we both die ready your sword fight or betray i don't betray i will fight And he died. Yeah. He also died. Bearing updated. Balatu was the last one to die in the temple catacombs. <coughs> so, basically, this could have ended three ways, I guess. Uh, another one way was like both Balathu and um, him died together. That happened basically on my first turn because I wasn't able to do the quick action. Since I knew I was, uh, I was able, but these last two quick actions were very quick. So yeah.
so they have, they are almost impossible and they, i don't know what the other one is maybe something would happen if i betrayed the other okay Nah, I am skipping. Basically, it didn't show the first time. Since I'm playing for the second time, that's why it's showing it. I think. I don't know if there is a copyright in this music. Alex Ravenstein well, what is Nick E. Turnbay Paul Zeno So basically what happened is both of them died, right? Alex McKelly Jr., KD McConnell. Story by Submissive Games. Spin play by Kurum Rahman. Original score by Jason Graves. So this is basically the starting of the game. That's why the starting credits. This is the. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. filled with untold stories stories about friends and enemies loyalty and betrayal life and death understand that i am not here to help you although i have been known to bend the rules from time to time To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. Could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Iraq, two thousand three.
Hold on a second. Let me turn down the music a bit. Wait. Okay, that should be okay. Let's see. Jason calls first lieutenant in USMC Force Recon. Colonel, good trip. Eric King, lieutenant colonel, Yusef, rational and secure. Particularly, welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Impatient, is the meeting room prepared? Apologetic, apologize for arriving early. Apologies for arriving early, lieutenant. Eric and Jason. Eric introduced himself to Jason amicably. Things are moving fast. Threats updated. Colonel, glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. The new year? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? And I right, carefully the case restraint. This is my assistant. This is my assistant. Okay, this I think are the traits something like that. Insecure, loyal, rational, considerate, overbearing, hopeful. Three Stokes. Doctor Three Stokes. Gold check. First Lieutenant, cold check. Well, wow. the briefing room? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding abrasive. Nick K, Sergeant USMC Force Recon, defensive romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't she is. About time you came clean. So he is her husband. And he is. Straighten up. And she is having an affair with him. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. I will find a way to tell him we should put an eyes on this. I think sometimes it's better to say nothing because I don't know him or her husband. Say no more. I get it. I will decide by getting to know him or king whom to choose basically. Shit. Assuring him and then I don't know if we... we I, if we have even, you would even go in that direction, right? We are not sure about that. Okay, up to this much I have played. I don't know anything uh, after this. After this is totally unknown from me, for me. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. I'm just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> got the CIA, got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone 
once a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Indigent, I am your commander. Polite, I am Eric King. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Restrained, we know each other. Indignant, that's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Okay. Got a deal, lady. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Okay, examine. I didn't get the time to examine. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have called. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. Eric apologetically re revealed to Rachel that he was in charge of her team now. That's on me. But things escalated. I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. 
This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Shit, I didn't get the time to examine the room. What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What oh, the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We will keep this small. I'll request air support. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice. Let me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Excited, intimate. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind, when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, 
things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. Air support. Eric agreed to bring close air support to the mission. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Wait for the download, speak to the team, inspect the briefing room. Nothing else to see here. I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are unauthorized restraint. Okay, just for cover. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. I checked it already. Or is there anything else? No. There's something over here. Yeah, that one I was checking previously. Subject, urgent results needed. Two, acting CEO Rachel King, confidential. With the survey group becoming operational today, it is imperative to stress the need of mission, mission success. Our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat and to international community to the international community from Iraqi WMD. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, to the, with the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies is the international community need in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence service are sound we look forward to your report signature simon fuller uh, sc operational head director of human intelligence dia confidential and personal Subject, survey group objectives to direct, direct 
Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central Intelligence. The object of survey group are stated. Organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces. US, UK, US. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, or, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relating to the weapons of mass destruction WMD organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq the survey group reports di reports direct to CENTCOM and director of central intelligence operation findings in support of operation Iraqi freedom OIF to be published quarterly from 6-1-2003 American overseas mission accomplished. President Bush declares the end of hostilities in Iraq. Many Sherman executed. Killer uncooperative during final hours. Secret found bandit briefing. This file reports that the aid workers have gone missing near the Iranian border. Confidential. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. I didn't get time to talk to everyone. What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? He is jealous. So there isn't time to read out everything, I guess. Sally Mothman, Lieutenant Iraqi Ground Force, stubborn, courageous. Zane, and a gate. Then? Find Zen, Sir Jane's room. Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zain Othman, one one two Burda Mandali, Cut, Iraq, March three, two thousand three, application number J zero three zero three four. Dear Zen, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read Mythology BA in academic year 2003-2004 which commences on September 2nd, 2003. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. A. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard grades. Uh, B. Obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that current world events may create complications for your visa application and the relocation to United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist in and support your visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University have helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey to success. Sincerely, Andrew McAllister, Director of Admissions.
was wait was there anything on the reverse side you have you have achieved something that nobody in this family has before i am so proud of you zain now go back that great love always dad so he knows that okay okay happy birthday zain kaise hai happy birthday zain my boy is becoming a man love always dad Okay these are three people i guess Let's check the okay before i open this room Let's check this room. Okay, nothing here. Zain. Examine. Press uh, mouse click to left mouse to pick up books. Use mouse to flip the pages. Ancient Mesopotamian mythology. Doctor Shaki Amanat. What is some version of Khurafat Bey? Secret found the book describes the Sumerian underworld which is referred to as the house of ashes okay i didn't read it yet why did you keep it Okay the heavens were no place for mortals the sumerians believed the sky was formed of configuration of domes each hewn from a different precious stone the outermost dome embodied an the god of the sky the middle dome was home to the gods of heaven and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars the number of domes varied between 3 and 7 the number 7 itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout mesopotamian myth seven demons seven thrones seven spirits and the seven gates of the underworld to the sumerian the stars and planets had each had their own deities You too was the sun. Nana, later altered as Swens, a sin, was the moon. Nergal was ascribed to Mars. Nabu to Mercury. Marduk to Jupiter. Inanna to Venus, and Niruta to Saturn. The heavens were truly abode of the divine, and earth below was given to humans no soul could travel upwards in the world view instead they were confined to their earthly domain even in death it's no it is no wonder that the sumerians were among the world's first astronomers they charted the position of stars charted the position of stars identified planets and plotted the movement of constellations 
Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed the basis of the classic Greek, 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 Grecian sky maps. Why am I closing it? I have other pages to read. Chapter 6 The Ancient Mesopotamian Underworld In ancient belief, the world was made of earth, sea and sky and enclosed in a box of imperishable tin, the underworld known as Kur or the house of ashes where, was where people went when they died. Souls were led to a cavern deep underground where they endured shadowed existence. Here the only drink was dust and the only food was clay. There was no light, only darkness. There was no rewards or punishments for deeds done in life. Instead, a soul's comfort was determined by their burial. As the dead were often buried under or near the home, daily sacrifices of food and drink were made to the spirits of the departed. Family members who poured wine into the dead person's grave would quench their thirst in the house of ashes. The message to the living was to live well, be buried richly, and have many descendants who would supply food and drink in the afterlife for years to come. The dead could return to earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings for food and drink to them. Vengeful ghosts could inflict misfortunes and sickness on the living, and maladies such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders could be attributed to ghosts. Mesopotamian healers ascribed many illness to the action of ghosts, while others were caused by gods or demons. I am closing it again. Oh my god. Let's see if there are any more pages. Okay. No more pages. Then okay. What else do we have around here? Something there was near the bed. Okay. Okay, they don't speak English. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Okay. Yes, I got it. He's Zain with... He's Zain with my father. Yes, he's Thar. They're with each other. Angry, I have found some stolen goods. I have a gift for him. Stolen goods, okay. أنا هتعامل معاه في معرفتي. أنت بس قولي لي هم فين. أنا أنا مش عارفة. أول ما يدخلوا من الباب تقولي لزين أبوك عارف أنت عملت إيه. قولي له أبوك غضبان منك. لا 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 
لا يا ديني مش دلوقتي أوه. كابتن بصري اهلا انا مناسب لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفين هم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا Defined I miss find my son I think for the army they won't care تمام يا فندم And I think he will be back home. So. Okay, I think I would like to stop here. I will continue from here in the next video. Bye bye.